اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ہوپ یو ول بی ان گڈ ہیلتھ آئی ایم ڈاکٹر عبد الغفور اسسٹنٹ پروفیسر این انسٹیٹیوٹ آف نمائریکل سائنسز کسٹ ویلکم ٹو دی کورس آف انٹیگرل اکویشنز میتھ 4721 لیکچر 9 وی ہیو اسٹارٹڈ چیپٹر 2 آف دی انٹیگرل اکویشنز اینڈ ڈسکس سم میتھڈز فار دی سولوشن آف فینوم انٹیگرل اکویشنز آف سیکنڈ کائنٹ In today's lecture, I will discuss about another method, namely Successio Approximations method for the solution of Predom Integral Equations of second kind. In this lecture, I will discuss about the Successio Approximations method, followed by some test problems, and finally, I will end with references. Desired learning outcomes. After this lesson, students will be able to know about the general procedure of the successive approximations method for the solution of Redom integral equations of second kind and also student will be able to apply this method to some test problems. Successive approximations method. Initially we consider the Redom integral equation of second kind defined in 1 where in 1 this k of xt is the separable kernel and u is the unknown function to be determined. What we will be doing in this method? Initially, we replace the unknown function under the integral sign, which is basically u of t, by any selective real valued function u naught of x, where x lies between a and b. This u naught of x is basically the initial or zeroth approximation. And we will guess this initial or zeroth, appro uh, zeroth approximation. Later on, I will tell you how we can take this uh, for simplicity. According to the first approximation, u1 of x are the first component of first approximation of the solution u of x is defined in 2. Where you can see in 2, this equation has been obtained from equation 1 by replacing u of x with the u1 of x and u of t with u0 of t. Since t is a dummy variable, so we, as we select u0 of x, but to use it over here, that should be a function of time. So we replace this x with t because t is a dummy variable. So first we select initial approximation u0, and then we define the first approximation of the solution in this form, which is defined in 2. The second approximation u2 of x of the solution u of x can be obtained by replacing u0 of x in equation 2 with obtained approximation u1 of x. Hence, we find u2 of x is equal to f of x plus lambda integral from a to b k of x t u1 of t dt. You can see over here that equation 3 has been obtained from equation 2 by replacing u0 at t with u1 at t. So, this is the second approximation for the solution. Similarly, to obtain the third approximation for the solution, we replace this u2 at x with u3 at x and this u1 at t with u2 at t. This process can be continued in the same manner to obtain the nth approximation. In other words, the various approximations of the solution u of x can be obtained by the following recursive scheme. Where you can see in recursive scheme that first we select u0 of x, any selective real valued function. And then by this recursive scheme, we can find out rest of the approximations. For n is equal to 1, we are getting the first approximation. For n is equal to 2, we are getting the second approximation. And similarly, for n is equal to 3, 4, and so on. Now, there are some key points of the current method. The first one is, we can select any real valued function for the zeroth approximation u0 of x. But most commonly selected functions for u0 of x are 0, 1, or x. As I discussed earlier, that u0 of x is arbitrary, or this is any real valued, selective real valued function. But for simplicity, we take u0 of x is equal to 0, 1, or x. The second point is at the limit, the solution u of x will be equal to limit n tends to infinity u n of x, so that the resultant solution is independent of the choice of u0. This means that finally the solution can be obtained by taking the limit of the nth approximation which is basically un of x. 
and different choices of u0 will leads to the same solution so that's mean that u of x is independent of the choice of u0 the third point is it is important to distinguish between the recursive scheme used in adomian decomposition method and in the successive approximations method what we are doing in adomian decomposition method we apply the approach to determine several components of the solution u of x and then finally we add all the components to obtain the solution as u of x is equal to summation and starting from zero reaches up to infinity u n of x so the zeroth component u not of x which is basically initial approximation is defined by all the term that are out of the integral sign in case of adomian decomposition method are a part of these terms if modified version is used so this means that if we are using adomian decomposition method then our f of x will be the u not and if modified version then some part of f of x will be u not of x but in case of successive approximations method we determine various approximation of the solution itself and not components of the solution of u of x here we consider a specific example to test the successive approximations method for the solution of predominant integral equation of second kind we consider equation 4 wherein for you can see that xt is basically k of xt which is separable initially we take the zeroth approximation u not of x is equal to 0 we will also solve this problem by another choice of u not of x but first we consider u not of x equal to 0 so according to the method discussed earlier u1 approximation can be obtained from this equation by replacing this u of t with the initial approximation and u of x with u1 of x so by doing so we obtained u1 of x is equal to x plus lambda integral from 0 to 1 xt u not of t dt since u not of x equal to 0 so u not of t will also be equals to 0 so this integral part will be equals to 0 and we are getting u1 of x is equal to x now in next approximation we will use u1 of t so we will replace this x with t so our u1 of t will be just t proceeding in the same manner we can find out u2 approximation is equal to x plus lambda integral from 0 to 1 xt and u1 of t since u1 of t is t so t multiply t that should be equal to t square and the whole expression will be equal to x plus lambda integral from 0 to 1 xt square dt now by taking this x out of the integral sign and integrating t square from 0 to 1 with respect to t we are getting t cube by 3 from 0 to 1 and simplification of this expression expression leads to u2 of x is equal to x plus lambda by 3 x this is the second approximation and to use the second approximation for the determination of the third approximation we will replace this x with t so u2 of t will be t plus lambda by 3 t similarly we can find out u3 of x as x plus lambda integral from 0 to 1 xt and now this 1 plus lambda by 3 t this is basically the value of u2 of t now by integrating this expression we are getting u3 of x is equal to x plus lambda by 3 x plus lambda square by 9 x and generally we can obtain the nth approximation as un of x is equal to x plus lambda by 3 x plus lambda square by 9 x plus up to so on lambda power n minus 1 divided by 3 power n minus 1 x for n greater than or equals to 1 so by plugging n equal to 1 we are getting the first approximation and for n is equal to 2 we are getting the second approximation and so on consequently the solution u of x of equation 4 is given by u of x is equal to limit n tends to infinity u n of x this uh, expression or this uh, statement has been discussed in key points number 1 now u n of x in previous slide the value of u n of x is x plus lambda by 3 x plus lambda square by 9 x and so on since you can see that x is common in all the components so by taking x common in all components we are getting 1 plus lambda by 3 plus lambda square by 9 and so on here uh, i have not mentioned the limit because by taking the limit of these constant values that should be constant so that's why uh, we are not using the limit sign in this expression now you can see that this is basically a geometric series 1 plus lambda by 3 plus lambda square by 9 and so on now to find out the sum of this geometric series we use this formula 
एस एन इज इक्वल टू ए वन बाय वन डिवाइडेड बाई वन माइनस आर वेर ए वन इज बेसिकली द फर्स्ट टर्म ऑफ दिस जोमेट्रिक सीरीज विच इज वन एन आर केस एंड आर इज बेसिकली द कामन रेशो विच इज बेसिकली लिमडा बाई थ्री एंड दिस लिमडा बाई थ्री कैन बी अपटेंड बाई डिवाइडिंग दिस फर्स्ट टर्म बाय सेकेंड और थर्ड टर्म बाई सेकेंड टर्म और फोर्थ टर्म बाई थर्ड टर्म एंड सो ऑन सो बाई यूजिंग दिस फार्मूला summation of this series is basically 3 by 3 minus lambda x and this is our final solution in closed form for the redom integral equation of second kind define in equation 4 as i discussed earlier that uh, different choices of u not leads to the same solution so here i consider again u not of x equal to x but in previous case uh, that was zero now using the new selection u not of x on the right hand side of equation 4 the first approximation u1 of x will be equal to x plus integral from 0 to 1 x t u not of t since u not of t will be t so that should be t square and by evaluating this integral again we are getting x plus lambda by 3 x which is our first approximation similarly we can find out the second approximation u2 of x is equal to x plus lambda integral from 0 to 1 x t and this is now our u1 of t which is t plus lambda by 3 t by evaluating this integral we get u2 of x is equal to x plus lambda by 3 x plus lambda square by 9 x and continuing in the same way we can find out u n of x is equal to x plus lambda by 3 x plus up to so on lambda power n by 3 power n x again by plugging n is equal to 1 we are getting the first approximation for n is equal to 2 we are getting the second approximation and so on and again you can see that uh, x is common in the whole x, all the terms so when we are taking x common again there is a geometric series so by summing that geometric series accordingly the final solution will be u of x is equal to 3 by 3 minus lambda x and this solution is consistent with the same result obtained in equation 6 so this means that or uh, this shows that uh, u of x is independent of the choice of u not of x so what we discussed in the whole process we first uh, select u not of x and then we find out the rest of the approximation by a recursive scheme as we discussed earlier to compute rest of the uh, approximations for the solution these are the references student have the book in soft as well as in hard form so uh, try to solve exercise 2.5 of this uh, book number 5 and if you have any problem you can ask me uh, through email thank you very much